Hey everyone, hey brothers and sisters in Christ, Monty Python, I used to watch them, it's a comedy show. John Cleese here is doing one-eye symbolism. He's doing the vow of silence. This is Eric Idle of Monty Python. All these actors are from Monty Python. Eric Idle doing one-eye symbolism. Terry Jones doing devil horns. Three sixes on Terry Gilliam's hand. See, like, people would say, what are you talking about? Three sixes on his hand. One finger makes a six, the second finger makes another six, the last finger makes three sixes. He's doing that to his glasses to make it look like he's doing that, strategically showing his buddies what team he's on. Isn't that hilarious? He's doing the devil horns, and he's doing the classic cover one eye, cover his face for one eye symbolism. Look at him, he's on the team. It's all famous people and more. It's people that have been on the world stage. Three sixes on both hands, very clever. The Vow of Silence. Michael Palin, The Vow of Silence. So, they do the gang signs. They're famous, right? They get pushed and promoted. They're part of the world system. They've been allowed to become famous. I really don't think people can become famous without signing their soul away. However their contract works, whatever they've done, or if they're just the tares the whole time, Satan's kids and this is their thing. They get this, and then they think they're going to, to hell and party and whatever. I don't know what they think. Our Lord, our Father in heaven, made Jesus Christ death, burial, and resurrection for the propitiation, for the taking away of sins, for forgiveness of sins, for salvation. It is the most important thing ever to happen. These guys did a movie, Life of Brian, which made fun of Jesus Christ, of course. Notice how everyone makes fun of Jesus Christ and not like Buddha or Muhammad or Allah or whatever. It's Jesus Christ. It's because he's the truth. You have to cut through all the religion, all the politics, all the mumbo jumbo, and just have a real relationship. Be honest. Be honestly seeking. God will know when you're honestly seeking. He'll open your eyes if you seek him. We've been avoiding him. We've been pushing him out of the world for the sake of entertainment. And look what entertainment is, everyone. God bless you.